The Amazon River is 4,250 miles long, twice the length of the Mississippi. It is mostly wide and slow moving, but up this distant tributary, it is quite the opposite. A fifth of all the water on Earth passes through the Amazon, and piranhas and their relatives are found in just about all of it. It's a fisherman's paradise. And it's full of river monsters. And that's a fish on, that's a fish on. Oh, there it is, there it is, jumping out of the water. That's quite strong, that's a strong fish. I've hooked a predatory fish with dental hardware straight out of a horror movie. So this is a payara, it's a relative of the piranha. It's an arms war down there, everything's got teeth, everything is eating everything else. And they've actually got those fangs there on the lower jaw, and they use those to puncture the swim bladder of the prey. So it just messes up the buoyancy, the small fish is then totally out of control, it's flopping around near the surface, and these will just come along afterwards and mop them up. And those fangs are that big that it has to have special holes in the upper jaw, otherwise it wouldn't be able to get its mouth closed. So there's probably you know, some very precise engineering going on out of sight that we can't see. This vampire-like creature shows how evil-looking the piranha family can get. But despite its looks, it is not the fish responsible for attacking people. This is a solitary fish hunter. These piranhas were tearing into a piece of dead meat just a couple of minutes ago. Doesn't mean to say, though, that I can't do this. 